I'm delighted to be with you today and to be a witness of the monumental instance in the history of international justice. The issuance of an arrest warrant against Putin by pretrial chamber of the International Criminal Court is nothing else but the unequivocal affirmation that notwithstanding all the pressure and attempts of disruption of the international justice system, the Office of Prosecutor and the Court stand as guardians of justice and those that allow themselves to commit international crimes will not go unpunished. Russia acts with a clear plan to destroy Ukraine and Ukrainian identity. And unlawful deportation and transfer of thousands of Ukrainian children, including from orphanages and care homes to Russia, simplifying their illegal adoption process and conferring them citizenship of an aggressor state is one but a very clear manifestation of this plan. It's very important that the first case brought before the ICC with regard to international crimes committed in Ukraine was the case where ICC explicitly played its complementary role. Simultaneously, we should not allow for the crime of aggression to go unpunished. I call upon you to support the idea of the establishment of the International Tribunal for the Investigation and the Prosecution of the Crime of Aggression, which is a leadership crime and which will ensure linkage to the highest political and military leaders in Russia. I would like to conclude with the quote of President Eisenhower. He said, peace and justice are two sides of the same coin. To achieve one, we have to attain the other. There is no fair and equitable world without justice.